unprotected person in the world is the black woman. You are American royalty, Lady Harry. So I decided for a few spots to do for the no reason. Are you asking my 25th minutes what I did? I said it was such a mess or whatever. So I was just telling you this while I was like, I don't Because black women, every day, every day, in every way, 
Don't underestimate the power of the black voice. Of Harry and Meghan, who are spray his family on global television as Philip lies in hospital. You might laugh, I don't think it's coming. I think it's coming. I don't think it's coming on the Queen, who is already suffering greatly from our husband's illness. This is funny now. What I don't think is funny, I'll tell you what I don't think is funny, is the fact that you were such a disappointment. I wish you guys one day you would even surprise me. You constantly, you constantly use your platform as a wealthy white privileged man with power and influence. Oh, what a word. And that's what I'm saying. You can pick your own voice, and you can just voice it. And it's such a disappointment. I'm going to make a voice, thank you. I've been doing so shamelessly. We have done more, we have done more on race horses on this show than any other show on television. You can do more. One of our own hurts, we all hurt. Why, uh, why is everybody else such an expert about racism against black people? I'm sorry. You know, I'm so pissed. Uh, you don't get to call out what is and isn't racism against black people. That's you right. can call out all the other stuff. I That's mean, right. You can call out all the other stuff you want. But leave the racism stuff to us. Okay. Okay. Alex Beresford, thank you. They have had an overwhelming amount of negative press. Um, you know, I, I watched the program yesterday, and yes, they had some great press around the wedding, but what press is going to trash someone's special day? There was bad press around uh, the engagement before the engagement, and everything that has followed since has been incredibly damaging quite clearly to Meghan's mental health and also to Harry and and, and I hear Pierce say that you know William has gone through the, the, the same thing but do you know what siblings experience tragedy in their life and one will be absolutely fine and brush it off and the other will not be able to deal with it so strongly and that's clearly what has happened with prince harry in this situation he walked behind his mother's coffin at a tender tender age in front of the globe yeah. that is going to shape a young boy for the rest of his life yes. so i think that we need to all take a step back mm. and i understand that you don't like Meghan Markle. You've made it so clear a number of times on this program, a number of times. And I understand that you've got a personal relationship with Meghan Markle or had one and she cut you off. She's entitled to cut you off if she wants to. Has she said anything about you since she cut you off? I don't think she has, but yet you continue to trash her. Okay, I'm done with this. No, no, no. Sorry. No, uh, sorry. Do you know what? That's perfect. You can trash me, baby. Don't mind. No, no, no. no. I know. I'm being... Sorry, this is absolutely diabolical behavior. You see, I'm sorry, but Pierce spouts off on a regular basis, and we all have to sit there and listen. 6.30 to 7 o'clock yesterday was incredibly hard to watch. Yeah. Incredibly hard to watch. Yeah. Bye, bitch. Bye, Pierce. Bye, bitch. Sucks to be you. The black voices are speaking. Okay, stay right there, guys, while I figure out how to do something else. All right. 
Bye, Piers. We never want to see you again. I was going to do a reading on you because I already knew you were getting fired. But working too damn hard, I couldn't get to the uh, to the video in time. But I'm here now, bitch. Bye, Piers. The best news I ever got is that you are leaving. Look how good God is. Look how good God loves us. And when I say us, I mean us black people. Don't get it twisted. When I say us, don't mistake my language. Hold on. Camera. Front. Whew. That was a whole mess. Whew. Guys, I tried so hard to be as professional as I could. StreamYard doesn't allow sharing yet. So StreamYard, you gotta get your act together. You have to get your act together because there are things I need to do and share and you are not letting me do what I need to do to share. Hello, everyone. My name is Tracy Brown and I am a spiritualist. And I do readings on celebrities and I look for the predicted outcomes and I already saw Pierce was getting fired I didn't know he was gonna walk off but to me I really don't care but I couldn't get to my people fast enough I was doing readings all morning I am so sorry let me remind you that if you want your own personal reading TracyBrownLive.com. Let's get that out the way. Also, let me remind you that tomorrow is um, uh, live video Wednesday readings. Amazon, I did not bring you on last Wednesday, but I'll be happy to bring you on this Wednesday. Um, and the videos will be live and loaded up to YouTube. So you will have it available to you, the reader at all times at your dis disposal. So feel free to exercise your right to get your own personal reading live. All right, guys. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Well, let's not wish him back, Sandra. That's not what we're going to look for. We're not going to look for Pierce to show up again. We're really done. So if he walked off, let this be forever. Why don't we look into that? Because I was going to look to see what would happen to Pierce Morgan, the queen's adopted son. Get the heck out of here. You're paid. You are paid to treat Megan badly. And like everyone else said in the um, feed, what? What, you wanted her? You wanted her? You're disgusting, Pierce. You're disgusting. So what, this poor woman didn't want you? And you treat her like she's dirt? Because she married one of the most inf infamous bachelors ever? Really? Did you guys hear the part? There was some extended parts of Megan's um, interview where she said, you know, it's one thing to be disrespected because of your race, because they said that what Megan is going through, everybody has gone through, right? And she goes, well, wait a second. That's not true because Kate was called, wait, and Kate, I was like, oh, um, that, that was black girl shade right there. Y'all know shade. Y'all know shade because we do it all the time. That was black girl shade. So you know what I get from black girl shade? Kate was one of the people in that room. Mm -hmm. Kate was a mother of two children was one of the people in that room that agreed 
to not give Archie a title. By the way, how cute is Archie? He's going to be a redhead like his dad. Did you guys see that? And to not offer security. She was one of the people in the room. Kate, you are hateful and you are jealous. And by the way, the royals want to handle this privately? Privately. But publicly, you let Megan take a beating. Queen Mom, you get the newspapers every day. Every day. You watch TV. You watch Pierce Morgan, Queen Mom. It was public until now. When Megan speaks out, when a black woman speaks out, how dare you? How dare you? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Pierce? Well, well, Philip is in the hospital. Really, people? Really? She's supposed to wait till when? When's the perfect time to tell people that you guys drove her off the edge? When's the perfect time? Because if it's not Philip sick, it's going to be Queen Mum getting sick in a minute. Uh, William just got over the COVID. Would you like to use that from eight months ago? Really? Nobody gave Megan time to adjust, but she's supposed to wait for all of you to get your acts together. Really? Please, God, talk to me. Talk to me about Pierce. Please allow me to see anything and everything that you would like for me to see, Father God. Pierce is your child. He's your love. He's your beloved. Please, Father God, authorize me to see and say what you would like for me to say and see. I will do my job, God. Uh, might I add, God, that I think he is disgusting. I think he is a bully. I think he has no more purpose in media. He needs to be done. Chango, Chango, Chango. All right, let's see what's going to happen to Pierce post walking off. Feeling lost, confused, and lonely. He won't display that in public. But definitely feeling lost, confused, and lonely. There is definitely the biggest part of Pierce's problem is his wee-wee. It's his wee-wee. It's his wee-wee. My God, if that poor girl had ever slept with this man, do you imagine the names he would have called her? Do you imagine the names? Do you imagine, can you imagine the things he would have said about her? He's mad because he didn't get to boink her. Imagine if he did. The names he would have been called to would have been far worse. Megan has always been a very dignified woman. Very dignified. Find your peace. Dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts. Find your peace. Kevin. Pierce. What do you guys see in this? Any symbols? I see a skeleton. What do you guys see? 
Let me hold this up for a minute. Find your peace, Kevin. Pierce, Kevin. Because all you ever wanted was to be with her. And her rejection of you gave you carte blanche with your filthy mouth, with the queen mum paying you. And I say the queen mom, as opposed to other in the institution, because at some point, queen mom, you could have stopped this. Like Dr. What's her name? Dr. Shola, Dr. Shola. I want to get her name right. You could have stopped this. You could have stopped this queen mom. You could have stopped this. You could have spoken up and you could have said, everybody stop. Betsy, shut up. She doesn't need to forgive her dad for anything. She's, go she's having mental health problems, Betsy. Stop. You stop. You know what? I'm just going to block you. I can't stand un un inconsiderate people. She's like, Megan needs to forgive her dad. What? Relax with that. That is time. That between her and her dad is time. That's not today. There is too much drama in her life carrying a baby that, yeah, this idiot wants to say she should forgive her dad. Everybody shut it down. This woman needs peace. Let's give her that. Let's protect her at all costs. Let's stay where she's at today. Today, she's pregnant. Today, she spoke her truth. And we will support that. And Betsy, by the way, was black. She wasn't white. So there's just ignorance across the board. Shut up, Betsy. Just shut up. Let's get off of all of that nonsense. What do you guys see here? Focus, people. Focus. Don't listen to one woman's crazy statement. Focus. What do you see here? This is about peers. This card represents peace and fine, undisturbing thoughts. Light. Breaking free from negative attachment. I'm going to tell you what I believe this card means. I believe the studios wanted to get rid of him. I believe the minute that this was going to go live the week prior, the studio executives had already planned to fire him. Remember, sweetie, the sun can burn. Ah, and the sun exposes everything, yes. I think the studio wanted to separate from him. Let me put the cards down so you could see it, Amazon. Let's get this back here a little, but let me get you guys and up there. Oh, but it's still the same. Get this back a little. Put my pen away. Whatever growth you had and whatever money that was coming from the queen mom and the firm or the institution is in the past now. Under feeling lost, confused, and lonely. The firm can't support you anymore. They will not support you. Piers, Piers, Helen Damnation is coming to you. Oh, Piers. Oh, Piers, see all that fire you kept throwing, right? Right? This guy has two heads. Where's the fire gonna go, right? What you're throwing at Megan, 
comes back to you. Dodge, dodge, Paris, dodge, dodge. It's gonna be years of this. Triple the time you've given Megan Hill. Foundations and achievements, I think he is gonna spend quite a number of days trying to express to people what good he's done in the industry. All right. He does not want to get canceled by the public, by the British. He does not want to, but I think he will be in search of a new home. Maybe Fox News will hire him. Maybe he'll come back to America or tape from, a, from over there. That's possible. Maybe he'll be a correspondent or something on Fox News or something, but he's going to find a new home. All right. Because whatever's going on over there, I think it has something to do with Rupert Murdoch and Rupert Murdoch is Fox News. So if British people, media is not going to hire him, then Rupert Murdoch will find a way for his white boy. There's definitely going to be an offer for him. The offer may have already been out there already, and that's why he walked away. By a man. I, I'm going to get this because this is like a man of steel, right? A man of power. I'm going to say this is one of Rupert Mur Murdoch's organizations. Maybe Australia. But they love Megan. So is that possible? There's a hidden agenda here, guys, and the hidden agenda has everything to do with still salvaging the Queen Mom's reputation, and that's what he is going to continue somehow. Maybe not necessarily bashing Meghan Markle, but at least being a voice for the Queen Mom. There's definitely movement. This is a part of walking out. Bad choice, though bad choice. He made a bad choice. Like, he just made a bad choice today. He made a bad choice. I mean, I would think the choice should have been to operate under kindness and care. I would think the choice could have been to shut up. Oh, Stephanie, I definitely agree. She says he worked for the tabloids prior because he acts like a tabloid, like in, in real life. Um, he has a connection with them. It would not put past, and I would not put past if he had a hand in Megan's unfair tabloid views. Oh, no, he was basically the leader of the ugly press. But maybe he's going to go back to what he knew, All right. Um, I get a woman here, all right? I get another man here. It's a lot of people surrounding Pierce. Oh, shit. I get another woman. I get pain. Oh, I got to sneeze. And I get another woman. No. <laughs> Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. With that being said, does anybody know Pierce sign? Oh, Alexi, you just went deep on me. Ooh, which bird are you talking about? You just went hella deep there. Oh, oh, um, liberation, breaking free from negative attachment. I do believe that the studio um, couldn't afford to have his hateful rhetoric to continue. But Alexi says, I think you meant this bird, but I'm not sure. Alexi said, he's going to go away. The bird reminds me of the arch when the bird flew over to show God's grace. And his behavior had been acknowledged, especially when Megan is God's child carrying the baby. Ooh, 
you went all spiritual on me, Alexi. March 30th. He's a fire sign male. Okay. Okay. Um, this is somebody else. Bossy. This is somebody else paying him. Um, this is somebody. <laughs> this might be Megan because I get this woman here that's facing her is facing Megan. And I feel like she's facing her with hatred. All right. So there's a woman at the helm um, wanting to continue um, in a sneaky kind of way. Um, this tabloid-esque language on Megan. Um, they want the hurt to continue, which is why the Oh, let me remove this. They want the hurt to continue, which is why the heart is here, all right, above who I believe this is probably Megan, all right. The final outcome is the Queen of Pentacles, all right, who holds the key on how much this hurt can. So in some weird kind of way, for the most part, I get a party of three, two men and a woman, that I believe that they have to keep this rhetoric up. Unfortunately, the, the firm, the firm is not gonna learn their lesson. Unfortunately, the queen mom is completely ignorant as to what the firm is planning on doing. Um, they only tell the queen mom what she needs to know. When something comes out, they're gonna be like, it wasn't us. It wasn't us, mom, right? The firm is the family, right? So queen mom, this is completely over you. Your children are really screwing with your old head. And I say it that way because that's what they believe. They believe that you are ignorant. They don't respect you. Charles in particular doesn't expect you. What's Charles' sign? And what's William's sign? Is William a water sign like his mother? Camilla. Oh, Camilla. This looks like Camilla. Huh. Well, she's too old to understand the, the internet language. That's what I mean by that. She's, she's too old to invest in her own phone to understand where's this coming from, right? She only trusts the newspapers. She sees something on TV, but she's not studying it. If she sees something, she doesn't understand that it could be could have been planted. Charles is a Scorpio, born in October and November. William's a Cancer. There's a money man here. I feel like the money man is outside the family. I feel like this guy is being paid. November. Thank you, uh, Gio. So then I'm back to these are outside people because you're talking about Pierce Morgan. These are outside people and a woman that is bent on the continuous annihilation of Meghan Markle. With all that being said, there's hurt coming toward Meghan Markle. Whatever they can figure out or dig up, they're going to figure out and dig up. I feel like it could be another year's worth of drama going on here. I do believe in the end, this woman saves the day. She could be an ethnic woman, you know? I think that there's going to be a lot of charging. I think if Black folks remember that they 
are part of 60% of the population that you're more in control than you realize. I think if you start speaking up, like, what's her name, Dr. Shola? I didn't say her name right. What's her name again, guys, Dr. Shola? I think that there needs to be someone in place in every media station that is there for black care to combat um, against black hatred. I think what everyone keeps saying that they could have done with Megan and made her, you know, this diversified person in Britain that could have had the capability of merging two cultures together. I think there's someone there right now that can do that. Megan's fire. Make it Marcos Leo. That's wrong, Alexi. Dr. Shola. Thank you, Gio. Dr. Shola needs to have a regular stint on Good Morning Britain because this hate campaign is going to stay because Pierce is just going to find a new home. It doesn't mean he gets to survive, people. It just means he winds up in a new home to survive. You understand that? Let me give you a really good example that maybe some of y'all could recognize. You ever date a man that is dating someone else, is dating someone else, and then they go, oh, she's annoying, she's this, she's that. You know, she asked me too many, asked me too many questions, and yet he's confessing to you. Some of y'all see it as nurturing. Oh my God, what happened last night? Why would she do that? Like you're such a nice guy, right? When really he's a Pierce Morgan in the house, the guy that you like, that looks innocent enough. Half the times they're work employees that you're working with, right? And so you see a different language from the work employee. Trust and believe you do. But when a person gets home, it's not the same person. The woman, the partner, the wife, sees somebody that's disgruntled, that's mean, that's nasty, that never talks to the kids, you know, barely puts gas in her car. Like he's a little bitch at home, right? But you don't see that, right? Because he's starting to set the stage, right? And so he communicates, oh my God, da da da, da until he gets in the house. Until he, because you, you fell for it, right? And he gets in the house and the honeymoon is what? Two weeks to a month? When you begin to see like why him and his wife, him and his girlfriend, him and his partner were having problems. Because he can't hide it. He's never had to hide it by the end of work. Now you're working with this guy and sleeping with him and moved him in. But he came in like this. You didn't see it, but he came in like this. Like crawling like a wounded animal in your front door. This is going to sound a little weird what I'm trying to say, but that's Pierce Morgan. He's going to find a new house, crawling, begging, just to keep up the rhetoric, just to keep being paid by the queen mom and the firm. And queen mom, I'm going to bring you in this until you take some responsibility. You cannot sidestep this. And he's still going to protect the institution. Even if it's in a cubicle, even if it's from a tabloid, he is still going to keep up his ugly. But 
now he has the real freedom to be ugly. Now he doesn't have to pretend with you, right? You ever see that switch in a man where all of a sudden ugly and once you see it, he never puts it back in because you can't put toothpaste back. And so now the toothpaste just comes oozing out all of the ugly. He's gonna live in a home where the investment in the ugly can stick and it will be the royal family paying for it. Good luck. Good luck. Because somebody will know everything. And for the right position, the right money, the right whatever it takes, she'll spill it all. Sandra, I'm about to block your ass too. He is paid by them. I do not need to be challenged. I do this for a long time. He is paid by them. Thank you for not being helpful. Listen to me. <sighs> where the ugly resides, where the ugly resides. Harry is the definition of royal. Royal, loyal, royal. <laughs> oh, thank you, Stephanie. Stephanie goes, I just love your explanation details. Thank you, sweetie. Maria, please talk to Sandra because she don't know what she's talking about. The institution has, has, has. That's not a question. That's not, I wonder, I wonder. They have a relationship. And that relationship is a paid relationship. Period. <laughs> oh my God, Shannon, you are so cute. And she's laughing. She's like, hi, Shannon. <laughs> she's a troll. Thank you, sweetie. No, you're a troll, Sandra. You're a troll, sweetie. So I'm just going to block you because I, I can't. I can't. You know, between the Trumpsters that I used to have and now you new Brits coming along, don't do it, Brits. Don't do it. You're going to make a mistake. I'm a Megan fan. <laughs> She's American royalty. <laughs> don't come over here, Brits. You won't like me. I blocked her. She goes, no, I'm just here to listen. She got frightened. I'm just here to listen. Block, bitch. Yes, they have a relationship. The castle has parties for the tabloid. Exactly. Was referenced in Megan and Harry's interview. Exactly. Thank you. True intentions. They said it in the interview. So what am I making up? What, 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 what am I making up about Pierce? He is literally being paid. He is one of the most vocal, vocal, you know, visual. No, no, he's literally being paid by Charles. Did we get Charles sign? Charles. I, I don't, I can't believe that William is a part of this. Ugly. I believe William is complicit. And William, when you keep quiet, you agree. Royalty's not a bloodline. I got it. And it's an oath to society and humanity. Oh, I don't know if it's an oath to society and humanity either. I don't believe that for a minute. I think that's a belief system, but that ain't true at all. Any other questions? What did Elizabeth say? I missed it. You see the palace's response? They basically call them liars in a response. Huh. Wow. 
And Gio's like, I agree with you. Huh. Well, we shall see. You know, to be honest with you, let's get let's get it straight. Charles wants to be queen. Camilla wants to be queen. William wants to be king. Kate wants to be queen. So I'm going to tell you the two people that would have the most investment in this. The, the two people that has the most investment in, in this is Charles and Kate. Thank you, Samantha Jordan. It's Kate who wants to be queen. She has a huge investment in making sure Megan is taken down. I don't know if William is. I think William is quiet. But did you say he was a cancer? Cancers like to play innocent. Cancer men can be the worst. They like to play all innocent and stuff. Hmm. Oh, wow, Elizabeth. You really looked at that letter. That was a short letter. I think I have it here. Oh, two, two, two. Two, two, two. <laughs> All right. Let me just send this to the group. Okay, to Kara. Oh, wow. Hold on. What am I doing? William has no spine. You know, he doesn't. But what if he does? Cancer men are hella sneaky. Hella sneaky. What if he does? What if his wife is his mouthpiece? What if it's designed that way? One of my friends just contacted me and she goes, the UK is losing their shit. <laughs> What's happening? Um, I forgot what I was looking up. What was I looking up, people? Oh, Geo, that is so good. This is why they don't have spines. Shellfish, the men, I mean. The, the women are totally different. Shellfish have shells not spines that's cancer spine list talking about the men not the women oh i went way over here so i'm gonna go for it what the uk response was to what <laughs> i lost it <laughs> William wants to ride horses for a living but can't, and Harry gets to live his life and free of the obligations of the crown. Okay, if I go by that, you're already in past tense, right? And I hear you. Maybe part of the hatred is always knowing that Harry had the ability to be free. Not just in past tense, maybe way before William knew this. Oh, yeah, the palace is... Res <laughs> oh, my God. I really couldn't remember what I was looking for. Let me just see if I can find it. I know I sent it to the group, but I didn't save it. A lot of times I don't save things in my phone because it just gets over, unindated with stuff. So let me find it in the group. Yeah. 
All right. The palace made a statement saying they were very sad to hear the extent of Harry and Meghan's pain will address the skin color controversies, conversations privately. The UK press, just as I said, um, is still criticizing Meghan and Harry, not addressing what the couple said. This is still a money maker. Hi, Nando. Oh my God, you're so sweet. Nando's over here uh, singing a song. Go to Tracy Brown live. Go to Tracy Brown live. Charles, oh, guys. My, one of my um, foreign friends, it might be Anne. Anne's a disappearing child. No one even brings up her name. It's probably Anne. Do you remember? I was like, what woman is this? Probably Anne. What sign is a... Uh... What sign is a... Uh... Oh, here it is. Ends. Ooh. Ends. It ended in ends? Do you guys... Did you guys see the letter? The whole family said to learn blah, blah, blah. the issue raised, particularly that of race, are concerning. Is it really? While some recollections may vary... No, they had meetings. It's not recollection. Here, how is it a recollection? Archie never got the title, racism. Megan, Marco, and Archie never got security, racism. There's no recollection in the fact that you never gave the boy a title. Racism. Period. Thank you, sweetie. Harry, Megan, and Archie, which is the first time, if I'm not mistaken, that they actually mentioned Megan and Archie. They always say, my grandson and his family, if I'm not mistaken, Harry, Megan, and Archie will always be much loved family members. Ends. Ends? What the hell? Prince Anne is the Leo. The plot thickens. So, the plot thickens. Okay, now it's making sense. Prince Anne, because nobody brings up her name. This person, this bitch, this asswipe, And this jackal. Four people will be responsible. Prince Anne, I think this is you. I don't care, guys. I really think this is Kate. And I believe that these are outside people. I believe these two, C, asterisk, and T's, are the ones feeding the outside people. With somehow the royal men throwing their hands up and staying nice and clean. But somebody knows, somebody else knows, maybe somebody ethnic, maybe. It's definitely a woman. All right. No one's ever liked Charles. Who likes Charles? I'm going to put this down so you can see it again. Can I tell you something? I was so stressed wanting to do this Pierce Morgan uh, one. I was so stressed. I, I slept last night, but very, very fitful. Gossip. <laughs> Remember, this is about Pierce, right? So it's upside down gossip. Upside down gossip. Oh my God, you guys know these cards never lie. Bluetooth mode. Gossip. 
right at the top, networker, network, network, networker, right? That means like, to me, when I see networker, it means the internet, it means, what's the media call? Uh, net station, what's the media call? Hmm. Shadow gossip manifests as passing along misleading information and creating damaging rumors. Assesses how many of your life lessons have emerged from participating in gossip that has harmed another or from reading a relationship by whether a person is willing to share its secrets with you. This is someone putting secrets in Pierce's ear. Do you see that? This is someone putting secrets in Pierce's ear. And it's lethal. It's lethal. Network, thank you. New stations are called network. I just lost it. I was like, what is, I know what I'm talking about, but I couldn't um, say the right things. So with that being said, guess what, my people? He needs to keep this up. He has not gone away. However, it's about learning your lessons, Pierce. And if you don't stop, if you don't stop, you're going to be a little crazy miser inside a shithole of a place, spewing your ugly, and it will be your end of days. It will, you will be in a shithole place. And I mean literally. Because all that good money you were getting is out the door. You have a year's best of time. You guys believe me? He ran like a little girl when the heat got on him. Dr. Shola, is that her name? Bravo, young lady. Bravo. We have got to stick together as African-American women, as black voices. Because the ass wipes like Pierce Morgan, that system is dead. It's dead. You speak up and you fight back. And you say, unacceptable. I'm not standing for him. Elizabeth, what are you saying? Because I'm getting ready to block your ass too. Kate waited eight years and had three kids with the future king. Well, that's why Megan called her, the, the country called her waiting Kate. Mm-hmm. This wasn't love, by the way, between the two. They finally just said to William, pick her. Exactly what they said to Charles. Pick her. As the next future king, you've got to show that you can make children. Pick her. Because he left her. He quit her. And then, am I mistaken, but he cheated with her girlfriend? Do you guys know that story? Mm -hmm. Dr. Shola, I love her. And those statues all around her. It's her deities, her deities. I know, her deities. See, y'all be thinking them deities ain't real. <laughs> y'all better get on board. Y'all better get on board because they're here right now. Hi, Snoop. Did he cheat with her girlfriend, with Kate's girlfriend? Because that's what I heard. Mm hmm That's what I heard. You see something? Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for always allowing me to have fun with you guys. Let me just get rid of. 
Oh, Ezzy. <laughs> I miss Ezzy. He's such a big boy now. Where's my Bluetooth? Oh, Bluetooth? No, I'm not connected. Is Bluetooth on here? Oh, no. Um... Oh, I think I might have uh, screwed up. Oh, still live? Return to live stream. Guys. Hold on a second, guys. I want to be able to see. Don't get mad at me. Mm -mm -mm. Not connected. What? Nothing's. Con oh. What is? and Oprah Winfrey, who are single-handedly finishing what George Washington and our revolutionary counterparts did, I'm all for it. Okay. The American experiment is the way to go, and if we have two American women, Meghan Markle and Oprah Winfrey, who are single-handedly finishing what George Washington and our revolutionary counterparts did, I'm all for it. Okay. The American experiment is the way to go, and if we have <laughs> What happened today? I can't get the, uh, the Wi-Fi. Come on, work with me, Zoe. It's not working. Are you guys good? Two hundred twenty, two hundred thirty-seven people in the chat. Can you all press like and share and follow and press the bell? Because clearly this is going to be a nightmare, nightmare, nightmare for at least a year. These people are not fighting fair. Okay, and we got to get Megan and support our girl Megan. We got to stay supportive of our girl, please. By the way, not only am I supporting Megan, but I'm supporting Britney Spears. We got to support Britney Spears. March 13 is coming up. Get your candles, get your kits. All right. I'm going to play my song, my son's song one more time. I hope you guys liked it. I don't know if you were able to hear it well, but... It basically says, I won't move. I'm going to support my relationship, my wife. Try me. I won't move. And that's why I played the song um, during Pierce Morgan, because Harry and Megan, they don't have to move. Judge, then I'm locked up. Go ahead and give me life. Oh no, 
Anything I do, I will die for you. Hurricane come through, I will drown for you. To save your life, they'll never take me from you. Never, never. In my life, I won't go. I won't go. With you by my side, I can't lose. With a thorough try, I won't go. They threaten my life, they threaten my life, I won't move. My chick hot, yeah. cute face, new braids with a thick thigh. Yeah. Shorty tough, but she soft on the inside. Yeah. What am I like, female Einstein? Hold up, shorty Bree introduced me to God. Hold up, swear when I kiss her, I can feel God. Her no fan, my fan, that's a real squad. Fuck yeah. with any one of them, that's a real prop. Hold up, Queen Latifah when we set it off. Hold up, nigga play the picket when we set it off. Hold up, Queen Latifah when we set it off. Hold up, nigga play the picket when we set it off. Hold up, nigga play the picket when we set it off. Hold up, awesome other shit be on fitting about now. Yeah, fuck the home back, so we gon' get it right now. Badass shorty with a block too loud. If the man stand up, then we gon' shut him back down. Ian, no, better do, better do. Come find a better you to be a better you. You can go ahead and try me, but I never move, move. You can try me, but I never lose. Look, don't compare that, I don't fucking that. I'm about it to the end, know you loving that. I'm a goon operator and a love you. Fuck a hater, light it up, bring your pipe. Think I'm playing, I ain't playing, can you take it? She's my wrong, yeah. 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 They'll never take me from you. They threaten my life. I won't move. I won't move. With you by my side. I can't lose. With a thoroughest try. Yeah. I won't move. They threaten my life. They threaten my life. Happy? Happy. 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 Yo, I had this idea for a beat, so I sent it over to Novi. He actually might kill me for doing this without him and not sending him the shit to Mitch or whatever, but I was just telling him we was vibing, like, you don't understand. <laughs> you down the rap with me? But, black woman, I love you. Every day, black woman in any shade. You the bomb, let me catch a grenade. Black woman, I love you. Like that bonnet you wear upon wig, black woman. I hope you got me on your brain. I love how that melanin be glistening all over your face, black woman. I love how you got that little electric lady Janelle Monet with the body of a stallion like the males, black woman. I love you. Every day, black woman in any shade. If they curse your name, I'll grab the clippers and catch a fade for my black woman. See, it's more than a physical attraction. I love the way you think, black woman. I would like to inject your intellect into my veins and let your thoughts crawl around my frame and intertwine with the inner linings of my membrane to form the crown of a king that no man can break. You are a queen, and no tribal dance can stop your reign, black woman. I love you. Every day, black woman in any shade. Check it out, I really like being alive, but I can't wait to get to heaven so I can look God Almighty in her face and say thanks, black woman, for blessing me with the lady in the place with style and grace and for allowing me to lace you with that ring, black woman, I love you. And when you doubt in moments of self-hatred and look in the mirror acting like you need a facelift, when you open your mouth to say it, I'll go, ah, don't finish your statement, black woman, I love you. And when they hate, I'll be there to remind you that you are a woman of faith who looks oh so powerful when she prays, black woman, who is worthy of love. You are worthy of love, so shorty swing my way because black woman, every day, in every way, in any shade, black woman, I love you. All right. I felt like women should know that they should have men around them that won't move. It's really important that you all understand that Megan is not in control of Harry. Harry loves Megan. And that's his job to listen to his woman. That's his job. And those that don't get it, 
don't have that relationship. What you're looking for is your version of a Harry. What you're looking for is your version of my son, Chauncey Bates. You want a man that will take care of his woman. You want that for yourselves. Start looking for that. Instead of all the women that nurture men, you want to find a man that will nurture and figure out how to protect you at all costs. All right, guys. I love you all. I need a Harry. <laughs> I know. Find your version of Harry, guys. Find your version of Chauncey Bass. His name is Brian Hearn. <laughs> My baby. But I taught him well that when he left this door and cleaved to another woman, that's his job. She's happy. Sorry. I made that. I did it by design. I never want to have a woman coming to me complaining about my son to me. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you all. Bye. I'll finally stop this. Oh, it was so.